Well, good morning. Thanks for tuning in today for your word for the day. This week, we're looking at how we can grow in our relational health. As if you're following along in your transformed book, you're reading this and the constant that exists for all of our relationships, whether in your marriage or dating relationship, in your friendships, in your extended family, your coworkers, your friends, is the reality that conflict exists and is real. So surprise, sorry. See, sometimes this is our fault, right? We do something dumb, we make a mistake, we sin, and that creates conflict. And sometimes this is because someone else makes a mistake or sins against us, and this causes tension and conflict in our relationship. And if you look around our world, you see so many different options and opinions on how to handle this. <laughs> Most of them are unhealthy. See, some people promote an aggressive approach of just arguing and yelling and just getting it all out that way. Some practice the approach of giving the silent treatment and ignoring and snubbing people in response to their disagreement. And some say that the best approach is to be defensive and never admit fault. Some also do the blame game and go on the offensive against the other party, no matter what actually happened. And then some people just avoid the issue altogether and just avoid conflict and never admit or acknowledge an issue. All of these are unhealthy approaches, but if you're like, and if you're like me, You've probably seen all of these at play in some relationship of your life and maybe have even practiced them. But Jesus gives us another approach. In Matthew 5, 7, Jesus tells us, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Jesus tells us here that the way to approach conflict and difficulty in our relationships is to show mercy, to forgive and bless those who harm and, and cause conflict with us. And as we do that, it says that we will be blessed and we will receive mercy in return. So I'm going to challenge you today. As you approach your day, as you look at the relationships, I want to challenge you to respond with mercy and forgiveness the next time you see a difficult relational situation and see if it doesn't change the pattern of your relationships. So approach it with mercy, give grace, offer forgiveness, and see if God doesn't transform your relationships. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow morning.